ceases to matter. I know uh, Silicon Valley is very special when compared to all other parts of the USA. As we all love you to death, and Karen, I'm a huge fan of you. Really, I love the way you speak. And besides that, what are your expectations from Silicon Valley audience? If you don't scream as loud as Houston did, I'm going to go back really, really shatter, shattered. Because you don't understand, I have a special affinity to the area we shot. My name is Khan here, and I spent 45 days in, in the Silicon Valley, in the area, all over the place. And we had such memorable experiences. And I want to say, Sid and Varun were assistants on that film at that time. And Alia was not yet born. Uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, they, they, they assisted us, uh, so all three of us have, um, I would say, irreplaceable and invaluable experiences of the area and I remember everyone being so amazingly friendly and cooperative and they screamed loudly because I was on set. So if I don't hear that loud scream tonight, I'm going to go back and compare you to Houston and that won't be fair. We won't disappoint you. Oh, okay, loudly, loudly. And I notice, I mean, I see so many women in the house. I notice that this is all about woman power, man. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I don't know. I just want to say, I have no idea where the hell the men are hiding or why they're so quiet besides the gentleman who's very gracious. Uh, I don't know why the boys are so quiet. They're holding the camera. Yeah. Oh, they're holding. Oh, that's what you make the men work. Make the men work. That's what you do. Siddharth, Karan, Pariniti, and Alia. Uh, first of all, welcome to the Bay Area. My name is Kavita. Um, I'm from Media Mahima. I represent uh, Radio Desi 1170 here. So the question we had for you was, I don't know if you remember when your SOTI was launched, when Student of the Year came out, you had spoken to us. We were the Alton Positive. Uh, that interviewed you, uh, you here in the San Francisco Bay Area, current Johar. And uh, what my question to you is, it's been incredible. Each of you were there. You guys have realized a dream. You are such big Bollywood celebrities right now. How is it working together now uh, with uh, each of the people who, who you worked with originally? How is it now, especially now that you're all big? I mean, how do you manage the uh, uh, to keep the chemistry and get over the so-called uh, uh, egos of everybody. I was not of you. I'm very upset. Oh, no. <laughs> No, I think uh, however big we get, we're always going to be small for Karan and it's like you always been a child for a parent. Aww. Aww. So the dream team, the I'm name is... Really by, by the aging factor that has... <laughs> 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 Say, tell us, how is your... Well, I think it's, it's, it's been the same. Uh, it's been pretty much the same. As soon as we start uh, performing on Disco Diwali, our hands go up and we start moving to it and we feel we're back to our first film. Yes. That's exactly what we felt yesterday when we performed the uh, first night on stage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think something's never changed because even if we do like whatever films, when we come back, it's like because we started off together and it started, and even for Pali, that matter, yeah. we all start, literally get our debut in the same way. I was in, I was, yeah. was in Disco Diva also. Yeah. So, I have to say, you know, I mean, you know, and I include Pari in this because when I saw her first film, I felt like she was really also like one of the students of the year because I felt like proud of her performance. Uh, but but I have to say that um, I always get teary when I see the three of them on stage. It's like a repetition that I cannot help myself from. It's like there is like three children I don't have. I'm, I'm a father to many emotionally but not biologically. And so uh, I feel very connected to the three of them and I feel like I know nurtured them and brought them into this world and when I see them proudly perform in front of thousands of people, when I see Varun remove his t-shirt, when, when, when I see Siddharth have the swagger like he always wanted to have and he does have it, when I see Alia perform like a dream and when I see Paraniti in torn jeans and looking so slim and sexy, I, 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 I feel like a part of me doesn't need children, I ha already have them. Oh, 
question is, I thought you needed uh, some extra time for rehearsals here in Silicon Valley. So are you doing something different from what you did in Houston yesterday? And is technology, I read that uh, Sid, you in particular, are blending technology into some part of your dance, a uh, segue or something. So. Is that oh my God, so involved. I wish we had media like you back home. I'm on radio, I, that's my job. I, I trust me, I know lots of people who should be doing that. <laughs> Say, well, see, I think if we can give you all the inputs or give you all the details about these shows, it will be fun tonight. So we like to keep the surprise there. But as far as us doing the same performance, I think pretty much all of us are performing the same show as yesterday. Minor changes here and there, uh, in different cities. And uh, yeah, I think you guys have to just wait and watch. Uh, I think the skeleton of the show will remain the same, but the vibe depends on the city. This extra rehearsal is yeah. high. We are too good. We don't need rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> so Silicon Valley then has no problem. The vibe here is always great. So then the show will be great. Oh. 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 It was uh, an unconventional sort of entertainment, but it worked very well in Houston. Uh, the, the way people just turned theory eyed. Uh, do you think it was some, some, some sort of risk in a way and it paid off well? But, uh, I think Chunar is a song which I always say is very close to my heart. And when I performed it in the ABCD2, also, it was uh, emotional. Uh, just, you know, doing the aerial silk, what do you call it, art form. I mean, I always thought when I'll, I've, so I've been in America, I remember as a kid when Salman Bhai and uh, Sanju sir were performing, and I remember being in the audience in Miami, you know, Frisco, and watching them live, and I would have these dreams that when I come and perform, I want to do this, I want to do that, and do things, you know, how would I entertain the crowd, and I would see their stardom, and I would be like, know how I'll ever get this reaction or what I would do when today when you know when we are here we are trying to perform. So there are these small small things, there are small small factors that I'm trying to do in Mac, whether it's the it's the descending from the sky or whether it's the aerial silk move uh, which you do on like dance TV shows. It's just trying to get that part of here to just show that how far our uh, film industry has come in terms of dance as well. Mr. Johar, you were extremely naughty yesterday. In fact, uh, I would say a roasted naughty man. You were enjoying the freedom of uh, being able to say some I was naughty. Yeah. Yes, yes, you were oh. all out of the class. The double meaning jokes were hilarious. The double meaning jokes were hilarious as well. Uh, so you, you had a ball, in fact. I think. You know, I was informed by Sid and Varun that I did some really strange things on stage. Um, I don't know what happens in my other Mata Jang Jati. You know, when I am on stage, I just feel like you're going to live in the moment and do whatever comes to you organically. I've never rehearsed. It's like what I feel like, you know, what are you going to say, ma'am? Like, what's the vibe? I mean, you give me the vibe. I mean, it's the vibe comes from everyone in the audience. So I don't know what I was saying, Faridun and my apologies. Um, I don't know what I was saying, Faridun and my apologies. I don't know what I was saying, Faridun and my apologies. I don't know what I was saying, Faridun and my apologies. And if I cross... <laughs> You have a recording? Uh, uh, edit karke dal dena, you know, my, my, kya hai? it's all about ah, it's all about loving your parents while our audience. Uh, so I should, but everyone likes a little bit of naughtiness. No? Hi, I have a question. Um, I just wanted to ask, because I know that you're doing your Uh, future, I think my first one was a disaster as an actor, so I'm not going there. <laughs> they no, it's probably a person who's yeah. 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 No, I was talking about Bombay Velvet. Oh, details it down. Okay, then um, I'd like to get offered another role <laughs> because after Bombay Velvet, not even a bad offer came my way. It was like really disappointing. I thought like, you know, that I would get one bad offer that I could like proudly refuse. Even that didn't happen. So yeah, so I'd like to put it out there if you guys can like help me get another role in a film. Absolutely. How about the rest of you guys? How are you doing? Paraniti, what is your ideal role? Ideal role most difficult role, is it, no? Yeah, most difficult. And also in the future. Uh, for me, the toughest role, strangely, um, even though it was a lot of fun to watch, but was Hasid of Hasi actually, because it was a really, uh, you know, strange character and um, it was supposed to be really funny, but as an actor, it was quite challenging for me to do, even physically, to keep my eyes open or just remember or the way she used to be. Uh, so Hasid of Hasi was the toughest. Um, Something that I'd like to do, actually, I'm, I, I don't think like that, honestly. I don't, I, I'm just reacting to the stuff that is coming to me. So, I guess when I have it, I'll, I'll know that this is what I was waiting for. Okay. 
I have a question for both the ladies. I wanted to know what you guys, who you guys will be wearing today to the event. Huh? Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. We have two beautiful uh, costume designers and designers from uh, back home, uh, Manish Malhotra and Jerry. And they have uh, done a beautiful job with all the girls' costumes and the boys' costumes, actually. So, yeah, we'll be very happy to wear them, represent them here. Yay! I want to ask you all of you, what is the hidden talent? There's always a learning to meet new people. If we meet new people, we learn something from them. What dream team bringing out from all of you? Kuch nahi cheeze, new energy, what is that? Uh, personally for me I think doing a live show for two hours is something that I've only done in school I used to do musicals so um, you know we do so many shows and events but it's normally you know a five to seven or ten minute performance we've never done this but to have the stamina to do a two hour show is something I didn't know you know we had it in us and um, even yesterday I don't think any of us like we were exhausted of course because we've been traveling but I think um, it's a new experience for us to do a tour like this to do a two hour live show uh, I think none of us have done that. It's everybody's first tour, except Badsha, who is of course the Badsha of live shows. Um, but yeah, that is the new thing that I've learned in myself that I can do it. I think for me, um, honestly speaking, and I can speak for all four of us over here, because um, the, the, the past four years in the industry, I'm talking about the, yeah, the new newbies, not Badsha, Badsha's not a newbie. Um, the, the, Everybody has been very warm and very welcoming and we got a lot of love and I think for me the purpose of this tour was to just give all the love back and just be really grateful and show the gratitude to anybody who's come out there and supported us and it's just about having fun and being dreamy uh, whilst hopefully looking dreamy at the same time even though we're feeling like a nightmare right now because we're so exhausted and jet lagging. Um, but the vibe and the energy and just the love that we get from people is basically I feel the essence of the tour. Message for the kids out tonight, they're coming out tonight just to watch Alia Varun, all the younger generation. Definitely, just a big uh, party. Don't try and steal a moment. You shouldn't have exposed so much. Like. We just want to say, I think from all of us, from all of us, uh, like what Alia said earlier, we do this to entertain people. This is a big way of saying thank you and uh, especially to the kids. Yeah, if we can just bring a smile on their face, if uh, Anya could smile right now, she's. Okay. Oh, happy birthday, Anya. Should we sing happy birthday for you? I think so. Okay, I think we should sing happy birthday. We've got, we've got a singer right now. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Anya. Happy birthday to you. How old are you today, Anya? So she should, I hope seven. she's coming. You're seven. Anya is smaller than you. She's six. For me? 
It's a staff bag. Where's the bag? Where's the bag? Where does this bash leader do? Somewhere in the US, don't worry. Where does this leader do, sir? Invitation. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, okay, uh, I have a question. Hi guys, uh, my name is Kishan. I'm representing Media Mahima and also at 11.30 a.m. Oh! 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 Oh!
Kuch kuch hota hai remake? Kuch kuch hota hai remake? No. I'm not capable and no one else should be her. I mean, let me go and remake the Arun some other movies. Why ruin my own? I won't remake my own. No, it doesn't deserve my work. You want to see that little Anjali grew up and what she did? No. Not at all. Thank you guys. We have one more.